story of the Sammy's Shadow Surprise. Sammy was a little sheep who loved to play all day long. He'd bounce and jump and run and roar, chasing his friends around the meadow. But when the sun began to set and the sky turned a deep, dark blue, Sammy's fun would come to an end. He was terribly afraid of the dark. Mommy, I can't sleep, Sammy would whimper, his voice trembling. There are scary shapes everywhere. His mommy, a gentle and patient sheep, would always come to his side. Don't worry, Sammy, she'd soothe. Those aren't scary shapes. They're just shadows. Shadows, Sammy asked, his eyes wide with curiosity. What are shadows? Shadows are like pictures that the light makes, his mommy explained. When the sun shines on something, it makes a shadow. It's like the object's twin, but it's dark and flat. Sammy thought about this for a moment. He looked around his cozy little bed. There was a shadow of his favorite teddy bear, a big, fluffy shadow that looked almost like a real bear. He also saw shadows of his blanket his pillow, and even his own little body. Wow, Sammy exclaimed. So the scary shapes I see are just the shadows of my stuff? His mommy nodded. Exactly, Sammy. And you know what? Shadows are nothing to be afraid of. They're just a fun way for the light to play. From that day on, Sammy was no longer afraid of the dark. He even started to enjoy the shadows that danced around his room. He'd lie in bed and try to guess what each shadow was. Sometimes he'd even pretend that the shadows were his friends, playing hide and seek with him. One night, as Sammy was lying in bed, he noticed a particularly strange shadow. It was long and thin, and it seemed to be moving around the room. Sammy's heart raced. Was it a monster? Just as he was about to call out for his mommy, he realized what the shadow was. It was just the shadow of a tree outside his window, swaying gently in the breeze. Sammy laughed to himself. He had been so silly to be afraid of shadows. They were just a fun part of the night. That night, Sammy slept peacefully, dreaming of playing with his friends in the meadow. And when he woke up the next morning, he was ready for another day of fun and adventure.